Hi, I'm here with Kyle Lilly, is it? Yep. With Sustain is a, uh, explain Sustain to us. Sustain is a natural fertilizer manufacturer and we're all about sustainability. We take the local farm's turkey litter from southern Minnesota and we compost it over six months, transforming the manure into a highly stable, very valuable nutrient source. Okay, what's, what's the process in, in, in making turkey poop sustainable? Right, so the process is all about the composting and we're letting the microorganisms do all the work for us. So they're our best workers. Okay. And when you put turkey litter in windrows, it heats up. So that, that heat is naturally from the bacteria and the fungi going to work and breaking down and concentrating all the nutrients from manure. And what you get at the end of the day is a highly stable product that's safe for the environment. It's not going to leach or volatilize. And it's going to go into your plant roots, into your plants, and not lost into the environment. So so you just take the tur turkey poop from the turkey houses and put it on the ground? Do you mix anything with it? Do you put any ingredients in it? Or is it just turkey poop being turned over? The turkey poop naturally has bedding so that the turkeys live on the bedding so we have carbon and nitrogen the carbon is from the wood shavings okay that they are living on and walking around on and then the nitrogen source is the manure and we add a little bit of water during the process to make sure that the microorganisms have a nice habitat a nice home wow. to survive in but that is all that's used in the process. That's all it takes. So even microorganisms need some sort of a living habitat to yep, create absolutely. what you Absolutely. Just product. like a person, you need a safe, comfortable place to live if you're a microbe. Okay, so the, the process you said you had to turn it over. Why do you turn it over? Why can't it just sit on the ground? And, and is it just the mixture of it? Or is it to put air into it? Or what is that process? Why yep, is that process That's a hard? great question. It's there's a lot of reasons we turn it. One is to reduce the temperature. Okay. In the wind rows, it can cook up to 150 degrees, even when it's 50 below zero outside. Really? The inside of the compost piles will be cooking well over 120 degrees. So we turn it to mix up the material to put the outside of the pile in, back into the inside so the outside can heat up as well and break down and go through this process. We're also introducing oxygen and fluffing up the, the piles so the microbes can have the right habitat again. So it's just like baking cookies. You gotta turn them or take them out, mix it all up, and then it's in the oven right. at 100. It's, it's one of the steps of the recipe. Okay, and then so, after it's done uh, composting, what do you do with it? Then we ship it to our manufacturing facility and we dry it and we granulate it into these nice, easy to use types of materials that homeowners can put on their gardens and lawns and farmers can put on their fields. So easy to use, easy to ship. That's okay. the idea of the manufacturing side. So do you sell just basically to stores or do you have a place where a, a homeowner can call you and, and get some information on, on, on getting your product? Right, everybody can visit our website, okay. sustain.com, S-U-S-T-A-N-E, or they can call our office and we sell through dealers in the Twin Cities. Um, our retail dealers are Gurdens and Bachmans and a few smaller home and garden centers um, all around Twin City metro area. And then we sell through several dealers who are here at the Minnesota Organic Farming Conference. And we actually sell nationwide and across the whole world. So uh -huh. we export everywhere, mostly through different dealers. Right, yep. very good. Okay, Kyle, we have compost tea bags here. What do I put that in a cup of hot water and I get what? This is a dual use product and it's, it's really useful for home gardeners. This is a, sold in retail stores and all you have to do is you take a tea bag and you have it sit overnight in your watering can and your nutrients will solubilize into the water in your watering can and you also get this explosion of microbiological activity so then when it's sat overnight you water your house plants or your garden or your shrubs and you get the biological benefit as well as the benefit of your nutrients that your plants need to thrive. Tea with all its benefits. 
Yep. Tea with benefits. Go ahead and explain this one here. What is this here plant food we have? This is uh, plant food for gardens. Um, 464. It's called Sustain 464. It's for organic fruits, flowers, and vegetables. It's OMRI listed. All natural ingredients, and it's made from our compost. And you apply it to your garden following the directions on the back. Um, could you just a go to product? The 464, what does that exactly mean? Yeah, good question. The four is the percent of the nitrogen that is present in the fertilizer, and that's the most important ingredient for plant growth. The second number is phosphorus, and that's very important for seeds germinating as well as the production of plant energy. And then potassium is the last number, and that's important for stem structure um, and survivability. Uh, and that's what you'll see on every single fertilizer package. Okay, so you have one here for flowers and vegetables, and you have one here for lawns and landscapes. Now, the, the numbers are different. Why would right. I want different numbers for outside to inside plants? Plants have different needs. The turf grass in Minnesota um, consists of a lot of Kentucky bluegrass, fescues, um, and those types of grasses like a higher nitrogen blend re uh, relative to the other products. Uh, garden plants like a little bit more phosphorus, so it's a different choice that you have. So you were talking about this experiment here with grass. What 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 is your experiment? Right. So. Two months ago, in early November, I got some, some sand from the playground down the street from where I live, and I planted grass seed at the same rate on top of the sand mix. And then I applied two different types of fertilizers. On your right here is a water-soluble fertilizer I bought down the street at my local hardware store. And so that is made from chemicals. It's called a 61010, so 6% nitrogen. 10% phosphorus, 10% potassium, and on the left is Sustain 464, and both treatments have received everything the same. The only difference is the type of fertilizer. They have the same amount of nutrients, and really? so they've also received the same amount of water, same number of squirts from my squirt bottle, and what I'm trying to show here is how much water the Sustain 464 is holding from the compost and the difference in color and density between the two yeah, plots. I was, I was noticing that the, the color difference, which is a, a lush green color to right. a, kind of a lime green color, uh, the, the, the amount of, of grass that's growing in this one to this one is, is totally different. So on a two month period, you got approximately what, three, four inches of grass. I, I can only imagine what that would do on a nice sunny day outside in uh, Minnesota weather. Right, this has just been sitting in a cold windowsill for the past two months, so not the best conditions. And you don't get in five to eight hours of sunlight a day, right. normal 10 to 12. Yep. Very good. 